Welcome here, sign people. This is your love reading. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Let's see what's coming up for love for you, Aquarian, a Gemini, and Librans. Aquarian, Geminis, and Librans. What is coming up for you guys? I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Last month, I had an issue on my highs, so I couldn't be on camera. So um, that was the reason why I was not on the camera. Okay. So what's in love? I have done uh, the extended readings and they look perfect. Um, it is a month where love comes in in this month. It is a really, really positive, positive month for love. And that is just so super, super cool. Really positive energy um, for you guys. So let's go in and see. I should pick up a deck, another deck. Okay. All right. But let's see what's coming up for love. The love boat. So excited for you and me. All right. Let's see. So we have the dark male. What is happening with you, um, uh, chocolate brown men? What is happening? You are in the focus of the love reading. And we see the dating queens. Okay. The energy of the dating queens and the chocolate brown men. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so we have an idea what is happening uh, for these people, okay? So what we have here, we have the energy of justice is in reverse, okay? And that has to do with chocolate brown men. It could have been uh, issues with child support, that sort of a thing. Then we see some sort of information is coming in. All right. Then we have the two of wands, which is a very, very positive note. And then we have the seven of wands. All right. So this energy um, is coming up and it is a really uh, persistent uh, uh, flow of energy, some sort of legal issues for you chocolate brown men. Um, then we see the eight of wands, the energy of the eight of wands. Okay. And uh, we see it transition, transition. And the transition is coming up because there is some sort of a news that is coming in. All right. Then we see balance. This is a good energy. This energy of balance is really positive. It is upright. So some sort of an offer, new love could be coming in. Then we see the swords energy is coming up. And uh, there are going to be some sort of a conflict, some sort of a uh, communication situation that is going to be coming out. Um, then we see the Knight of Wands, whoever this Knight of Wands is. Um, they are finding out something about this Knight of Wands. I see a, a tower moment because an end come up. Some of you could be in a relationship with an Aries Lee or a Sagittarian person. Um, we see the energy of uh, um, uh, some of you and your wife, uh, some sort of a problems with you and your wife, okay? And we see um, some sort of a secret love that was going on. Um, information is going to be coming out. People are going to have data and information over some sort of a, a secret love, okay? So, uh, truths are going to be revealed, okay? Whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, a lot of truths are going to be revealed. 
um so a lot of you who were having uh issues um with people and situation a whole lot of truth is going to be revealed for the people that you're in a relationship with so um be aware of this so we're dealing with the chocolate brown men and you know it, it could be a situation that some of you men have multiple relationship or was dating multiple people um it is all going to be coming out so as we see the energy of something coming to an end so what we're basically seeing is that there is some sort of a legal issues that was happening and transpiring and with these legal issues um some sort of a situation is coming to an end okay so whoever this chocolate brown man is and whatever this man was doing i see um this man is going to be having some sort of a problem that is going to be coming up and it's transpiring so be aware of this so, so um what we're seeing is that basically a lot of you were dealing with an aries Lee or fire sign person and whatever this person have done um, it is going to be creating some sort of a transition. Um, I see um, some sort of a transition is going to be coming up for um, some of you and your wives. I see the wives is in reverse and um, whatever is transpiring with your wives, they are now in the reverse and a whole lot of uh, uh, changes is going to be happening for a lot of you and your marriages okay so i see a lot of women or in the reverse so, so um then we look and we see some sort of a communication is coming in and the communication that is coming in is going to be bringing some sort of a balance um because it's as if something came out about this chocolate brown man and what this person was doing and the connection um towards this person and whatever they were doing and truths is uh, going to be revealed there is no question about that there's a whole lot of truths that is going to be revealed so the energy of the seven of ones is as if uh, um some you know this person could have been saying oh i i, I wasn't seeing anyone else and then all of a sudden it is going to be coming out that this person was seeing someone else so um you gotta be aware then we recognize transition and a huge tower moment. So as uh, some of you, relationship could be just fall apart um, out of the blues. This relationship just fall apart for whatever reason. And however it comes up, it's as if um, there is just a huge, huge tower moment and a relationship falls apart. Then we see transition and a lot of people who are in relationship with Aries Lee or Sagittarian, I see that is where the transition is going to be coming up between you and this person. And you got to be aware of this because it's, it's some, the, whatever is going to be coming in and it's going to be transpiring is as if it has to happen. Okay. It's a situation where it has to happen. And whoever is these chocolate brown men, you got to watch out because whatever is transpiring, it's inevitable and it has to happen. Some sort of a change is going to be coming in and a lot of you wives, a lot of you women are going to be happy with the changes. However, this changes is coming up. A lot of you women are going to be really, really happy with the changes that is coming up. A lot of you are dealing with... Uh, um, fire sign people okay especially people who are in relationship with fire sign people so i want to say um thank you for being here and if i don't call your um zodiac sign your partner zodiac sign it is good to go check out their readings and there is the extended and the extended is tapered for all zodiac sign okay so uh, you all get your extended apart because that is really where the information comes out in love and money um it, it, it has to do with uh, um the um element uh, what for element you are and these are why we do the readings in element for love because it's about uh, um you who you're flowing in the element of the air sign people and that is why we do it like that 
secrecy, whatever secrets relationship there was, like some of you wives, if you had some sort of a secret relationship or someone you were seeing, it's going to be coming out. So be aware of this. It's definitely um, going to be coming out. So if you had some sort of a secret relationship, um, it, it it is inevitable that it's going to be coming out. And this is very serious. All right. So let's look. So we see abundancy. And the energy of abundancy is that a lot of you should recognize um, that you're in the flow of where your heart chakra is now healing. And with the healing of your heart chakra, you're basically understanding who you are. Um, you are recognizing what true love is. You're not taking any BS from anyone because you're recognizing, you know, I know what is true love. I know um, what is coming up for me. I do understand um, what is transpiring for me. And you are going to be so very happy um, with what is taking place. Okay, so this is a, a really significant energy that is going to be transpiring because what is going to be transpiring is that people are now going to be recognizing um, that they know what it is to love. It's as if they're no longer worried. Um, they really know what it is to love. And abundance is that you are happy um, in your relationship or you're happy the way your relationship is going. Now the sunglasses comes up and some secrecy is going to be out. A lot of you could have keeping some sort of a secrecy from your partner or some sort of an affair secrecy. It is now out and it's going to be affecting a lot of ladies that have been dating. Um, this is who it's going to be affecting. Ladies who have been dating, um, these are the people who it's going to be affecting the most. Okay, so you got to be aware of it. And a, a transition is going to be happening because of whatever the situation is and was and why you were keeping the secrets from your partner. That is something that is going to be coming out and you're going to be recognizing that, you know, um, the, some sort of an information and that is going to be bringing some sort of an end to what was happening in your life. I see that some of you are going to be recording your partners or listening to your partners uh, or checking your partner's text message. I see this is coming up because there is a sense of recording. Now recording has to do with listening to people conversation or list or checking their text message, that sort of a thing. And some of you have been doing that for a, quite some time and your partner could recognize that, you know, their phone has been listened to, okay? Then I see engagement, engagement, a ring, engagement. And uh, this is the married person. I told you about the energy of the wife, okay? And there is going to be some sort of a tower moment so um, if you are married, you got to be aware of what is happening and transpiring around you. There could be some sort of a huge tower moment, huge ending that is going to be coming up for married women, okay? Married women and men. Uh, I see men are going to be trying to balance it out because it's as if men recognize, oh, I've been caught. Let me just... Um, repair the damage but women are going to be like as if no um i've had enough i've had enough okay then we see the girl with the snake the girl with the snake and this is really some sort of a deceptive play and whoever this person is and what is whatever is transpiring whatever this person have done the energy of the girl with the snake is a serious serious situation so the girl with the snake is coming up as a Gemini, a Cancer, a Scorpion, and a Libra. Okay, uh, this is what it's holding the energy of the girl with the snake. So um, expect a Gemini, a Cancer, a Libra, or a Scorpion, the girl with the snake. So be aware of that. Then um, um, relationships. Wives, women, liberals, 
uh, you could be affected by this. Um, if some of you is uh, in a relationship with a Virgo, um, there could be some sort of a divorce. A divorce, you're dealing with divorce issue that is transpiring. An end is here to some sort of a secrecy, some sort of a secret relationship that was happening, some sort of a affair that was happening. An end is here because people now recognize. So I see um, relationships. If you are in relationships with a scorpion, you could be ending the relationship. If you're in relationship with a Libran, you could be ending the relationship. If you are in a relationship with a Aquarian, you could, uh, Aquarians, you could be ending relationship. And I see the secrecy of a Pisces is now out. Okay. Pisces or Ophiosis. So, so um, it could be you guys ending this relationship with a Pisces or a Ophiosis or um, a vice versa, okay, because of some sort of a secret. So um, a huge tower moment is as if some of you are going to be finding out what a Sagittarian have done. And uh, um, they're going to be recognizing so a lot of you, if you're in a relationship with a Leo and a Sagittarian, you're going to be recognizing that a Leo and a Sagittarian have done something and you guys decide to end the marriage and the relationship. And this is going to be coming up. So you got to be aware of uh, um, who you're dealing with. Okay. And the first house is like a lot of you are going to start learning to love yourself. Whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring, you're definitely going to be understanding that I can't look for love outside. I have to look for love within myself. And as you learn to look for love within yourself, you're going to be recognizing how wonderful um, basically this is to kind of, um, you know, look for love within yourself and not looking outside and this is going to be God. So um, a lot of you women who are divorcing, um, some sort of a good thing could be coming out of it. You, Whatever you ask for, you will basically receive it. And this is going to be absolutely, absolutely good. So um, positive, positive energy. So we see abundances. Some of you are getting divorced and things are going to really change. But um, when we look at the recording, a Virgo could have recorded, a Virgo and a Gemini could have recorded some of you, okay? And I see a Taurus is trying to, as, as if, if you're in a relationship with a Taurus, this Taurus was caught and is trying to resolve some sort of a situation. But I see the end to a, a Pisces that was having some sort of a secret affair. It's going to be over. Alrighty, um, let's see. We have the energy of um the Pisces and the Cancers, okay? The energy of the Pisces and the Cancer. And the energy of the Pisces and the Cancer is that um whoever is uh, um having some sort of a legal issue where um it could be um a ch children uh custody child support, that sort of a thing um, with you and an ex-partner or your partner or your ex-husband. I see that that is going to be coming up. All right. Um, then we see um, the energy of uh, another time. Um, they are dealing with a whole lot of uh, uh, enthusiastic because you're trying to like resolve some sort of a situation um, that is coming up and you're having a whole lot of enthusiasts trying to balance out. So I see a Gemini, um, Gemini's, you could be having some sort of a problem with an Aries and a Leo. So be aware of that. And I see that you Gemini's are just so really, um, really uncomfortable. It's as if you recognize um, that a, um, a an Aquarian, an Aries and a, and a Libran and a Leo have been working your last nerves. You're like in a relationship with these people, but they're like working your last nerves. So, all right. So we see the energy of uh, you Aquarians and Cancers, whatever that was transpiring. I see 
uh, you Aquarians and Cancers are coming up. It is just so very strange that you Aquarians and Cancers are here. And it's as if you Aquarians are recognizing what a Cancer have done. And a Sagittarian could have been the one who is going to be letting you know that your Cancer husband have created some sort of a problems issue. Alrighty. Then we are now looking at uh, um, you Aquarians again are going to be affected um, and it's going to be with the energy of uh, um, uh, the, um, the stair, um, the Taurus, okay? And people are going to be now recognizing what was happening and what was transpiring. But this is like, if you're in a relationship with someone in another from another country or um another region and uh, it's as if you aquarian uh had some sort of a relationship with a aries and you're going to be finding out and this aries is from another country or another place and you're going to be finding out a whole lot of things about an aries then um we see the energy of the Cancer is coming up. And um, this is about the Geminis and the Cancers. So Geminis and Cancers, your marriage could be falling apart. So Geminis and Cancers, um, your marriage is definitely going to be falling apart. And I see that it's as if a lot of you are dealing with uh, a Cancer from another um, country or um, a Gemini from another country and whatever um, it is going on in the marriage or the relationship I see that this could be falling apart in some way there's huge problems there is a huge shift that is going to be happening in your marriage or relationship all right then we see that um, a lot of you are going to be recognizing um, that your partners um, there was some sort of a situation where um, this is going to affect some of your reputation because your partners were having some sort of a threesome. Whatever was happening, whatever was transpiring, there was some sort of a threesome. There was some sort of a, a double play um, that was happening and transpiring in your relationship. And a lot of you married people is going to be recognizing that and that is going to be causing some sort of a huge imbalance where unexpectedly, your marriage could be over um, from one day to another. All right, so we see an end for a Leo. Um, yeah, this is the end of uh, some of you who are married to a Leo. Uh, an end is here for a Leo. Um, I see that some of you are going to be recognizing that a Leo, there was some sort of a karmatic relationship between you and a Leo. An end is here for a Leo woman. Um, yes, whatever that was happening and transpiring, if you're married to a Leo, uh, woman, I see some sort of a unexpected situation where people now recognize that a Leo woman together with her friends or together with other people were, um, having some sort of, uh, um, it's as if this person was married, but they were exchanging a whole lot of time with someone else so like if you are married to a Leo you're going to be finding this out okay and we're seeing the energy of the Leo wife so you men who are married to Leo this is going to be coming out there's definitely that this Leo was having some sort of an affair and it is going to be coming out then we see the Cancers again the Cancers are coming up with the Capricorn now if a cancer, if you were, were married or in a relationship with a cancer and this cancer, what is transpiring is that um, this cancer and a Capricorn could have had some sort of an affair. I see this is going to be over. Okay, so it's a lot of situation where unexpectedly some sort of a news information came out and it's as if a lot of you, your marriage, your world, your uh, long-term um, engagement a lot of you who were engaged for a very long time um, that is just going to be falling apart okay 
then we see a lot of you are dealing with the Capricorns and uh, um, some sort of a transition. And this is uh, if you were married to a Scorpion or in some sort of relationship with a Scorpion, you're going to be finding out that a Scorpion and a Capricorn um, had an affair. However, this is coming up and transpiring. And it's a really unexpected situation because you were not expecting it maybe um, one was your girlfriend or your uh, partner or it was that um, they know that you were in a relationship with them and this happens okay then we end up with the Aries the Aries I see divorce a lot of you are going to be divorced in Aries and the problem and the reason why is because you recognize um, that this Aries have created a whole lot of issue and somehow a scorpion was always in the life of you and the Aries and a lot of you are who are in relationship or uh, marriage with a scorpion I see that you're going to be recognizing that the scorpion cannot have one person and it's better to let it go um, that is definitely going to be coming up that a lot of you recognize a hey, um, I don't think this cancer can be slowly be with one person so I'm letting it go there's a whole lot of stuff that is going on with the cancers because here we are recognizing that the Aries a lot of uh, um, as, as if cancers are married to Aries but yet still some of you could be having a relationship with a cancer who is married to an Aries and um, it is going to be coming out this this information is definitely going to be coming out and it's going to be um, really um, hitting you very very hard and it could be a situation where you know you know this person might never be mine um, so you know let me enjoy the moments it could be a situation um like that let me enjoy the moments all right because this person will never be mine but then you fell in love with this person and then because you fell in love with this person you're now recognizing whoa this has taken a turn a lot of you are fencing um um the gemini's now gemini's i see that some of you gemini's are going to be recording um and uh, uh, keeping some sort of a tap on your wife or your girlfriend um telephone um and uh, it's because you recognize that this person is playing you and this is the reason why you're going to be like uh, you know holding a tap and holding some sort of a tap so um letting some sort of a information because you recognize that your girlfriend is too time in you okay um, then we see another wonderful um, energies here and this energy is about uh, um, the um, Taurus and you Gemini's now Taurus and you Gemini's is as if um, you Gemini's are going to be recognizing how beautiful a Taurus is and it's as if you have never recognized this before and all of a sudden you're going to be wow okay I never recognized this but you know this person is super super nice this it is as if uh, and if the Taurus is uh, uh, a Gemini cops so you can always have a, a relationship with this person okay then the last we have um, this energy of the Aries and the Aries so um, there is is some sort of an imbalance where a lot of you are going to be separating from Aries um, whether or not you're married or not married you are going to be definitely separating from Aries because um, it's as if you're recognizing um, this is over this is over there is no sense that I'm gonna stay in this relationship it feels as if it is over Okay, and a lot of you are going to be, um, you know, really taking the time to um, figure it out. It's not like you're going to be jumping, poop, there in. No, you're going to be taking the time to figure it out and figure it out very good before you make any decisions. So, if you want a more in depth, um, 
use the, the link uh, um, join button to get to the channel you have to be um, a super member so it's going to be in the third abandonment and there you can get your extended your personal in extended of these reading all right um so let's break it down let's look at you aquarian aquarians that are um engaged your engagement could be ending so aquarians who are in or engage your engagement could be ending um and then we are um seeing that you're ending your engagement especially if you are in um in an, engaged for a very long time you're going to be ending your engagement um uh, or if you're married you're going to be ending your marriage so married people and engaged people and it's because your partner has been cheating so you aquarians is going to be recognizing my partner has been seeing multiple people while i'm being engaged and i've been engaged for a very long time um you know you're going to make the decision to just walk away from this marriage or this engagement and it is going to be much better for you um men who are married to leos aquarians who are married to leos i see you're going to be reverting the engagement you could be ending the engagement okay so um expect um that that you're going to be recognizing maybe this is not the right person and it's kind of strange um because aquarian and leos are connected okay if you're looking for your soulmate or twin flame but this could be a um a, a twin flame relationship that is very hard and that is the reason why but um aquarians and uh, leos are match okay so if you're looking for your soulmate twin flame uh, aquarians you and the leos are match then we look at balance librans you are you are using um temperance to balance out a whole lot of situation so you liberals are really focusing and looking really at how to balance um relationships so there was some sort of a recorded conversation and um it's as if you liberals recorded some sort of a conversation either with a um pisces or you were not aware that the, 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 the conversation was recorded um but um you're going to be finding out that you were speaking about someone that you were having a some sort of an affair with uh, you liberals and the um the the conversation was recorded okay um some of you liberals i see that a scorpion is going to be calling it quits some of you liberals are going to be recognizing that a cancer have been invading in your relationship some of you Librans are going to be finding out that your cancer friend marriage is over because they recognize uh, what your cancer friend have done. So it is um it's like a serious serious case of uh, being aware um of what is happening and transpiring, and you Librans are trying to balance out um everything. Is uh, but you are um relationship wise, emotionally wise, you are stable. Um, you liberals um, are going to be finding out that uh, if you were um, engaged or married, um, that a, a cancer woman is the person that has uh, um, uh, invade or access uh, um, your relationship with your partner. And I see that this is going to be coming out. All right. Then we are looking at the Geminis. Now, Geminis... Uh, um, you are in a relationship with someone that you're not trusting and you're going to be putting some sort of a listening device on their telephone or cameras in the house in order to know what this person is doing. It's as if you get to find out and to realize that this person is not who you think they are. And um, you are going to be um, recognizing this and you're going to be putting some sort of a precaution in order to put some sort of a device so that you can understand what exactly this person is up to. So it is, ooh, and, um, but good. So um, I want to say to um, you guys, just uh, um, keep it cool. Um, keep it cool. It is um, really keep it cool what is happening. 
I see a lot of you are going to be ending like relationship. A lot of Aries is coming up where there's problems, there's issue. Um, some of you who have Aries, uh, um, in your in your life, you're going to be recognized that these people are all for the game, for the materialistic, and that sort of a thing. I do love you guys. Um, please, if you'd like to see the extended, there's extended of all the readings that is done on this channel. Uh, use um, the uh, join button, and you can find the extended on the the third subscription. There is where all the extended comes at. Transition is going to be coming up between a lot of you and a Virgos, whoever this Virgo is and whatever is transpiring, a whole lot of transition is basically going to be coming up. I do love you guys. I gotta go. Show your loves by thumbs up. Now stay until next time. Oh, 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 oh,